Well, hello there, people. I'm going to record another episode of Shining Force 2 here. And uh, if you remember, if you remember this, we were going to fetch a guy called Howell, who lives in Yeel, I believe. Um, blah blah blah. Blood and blood and blood. Grand seal will fall in, in the war. Believe me. Well, do you believe her? I'm not sure you should, but you might. Anyway, <clears throat> we are able to buy some a few weapons right now, and uh, one of these sells just herbs and stuff, and one sells weapons. Oh, I managed to find the herb guy. I'm not sure I need it right now. I'm more into buying weapons, actually, because you know everything we have to fight with at the moment is like wooden sticks and stuff. So I'm going to buy a few new weapons, like a short sword for Brailer. He has a wooden sword at the moment, which isn't very good. Although it's only got two less attack power than the short sword. As you can see it um, the attack value yeah it's quite linear with the weapons you buy. Um, you raise your attack value by of course gaining levels and by new weapons. Short spear for the ho horsey guy and it's quite good. Um, better than a wooden stick <laughs> Uh, and uh, he can actually throw it, so he has a ranged attack right now, which is quite useful actually. And for Sarah, she has to stick with her wooden rod, um, because there's nothing else for her. She can't have a knife, she can't have an axe, stuff. Yeah, so I'm satisfied with that, and I'm going to sell my weapons. And. Guys, guys, everybody come here. This guy, this guy here in the shop, he get he pays 52 golds for wooden sticks. 52 bloody bloody hell. Start gathering sticks, folks. Oh. Always seemed a bit illogical to me. A wooden sword, let's see. 45. I've made a sword out of, out of sticks, and then you pay 45 gold, but f just for a stick you pay 52. Alright. Uh, nothing else, really. <laughs> um, the antidote is, of course, an antidote if you get poisoned, which won't happen in a, a while, but. Yeah, I'll keep it. I've, I'm gonna buy a couple of herbs, maybe. They're quite useful early in the game. Um, and yeah, it's nice to keep one slot open if you find stuff and stuff. So. And do you remember that guy who overslept for school? Yeah. The soldier said you went into the castle, is that true? Oh, I missed it. I would have woken up early if I knew that. So I came to meet you here, Brainer. You're going to yield, right? Under the king's orders. Cool, of course I'm going to. He looks like he's about to take a shift or something, I'm not sure. Jahar the war has joined the force. Warrior of course. And let's check him out. Uh, you can see that he has quite high attack value and defense value compared to our others, other characters. Um, Oh, I didn't explain about the agility thing. The agility is 
uh, when you move, when you get to take your turn in combat, how fast you are. Right now Chester is the fastest character in the group, but he will be surpassed, I believe, later on. Uh, Jaha and Brailler are both quite slow. Um, yeah, not much to say about that. Oh, our hero, our main character, has one spell, Egress, which let, lets you escape from battle if it gets too hairy. Alright, uh, nothing, nothing more to do in town actually, just go out and face our next battle. And here we are, and we have oozes, you know, your standard fantasy game, role-playing game enemy. Um, and you have a couple rats. And um, these guys are can be dangerous if they gang up on you. you know. uh, I'm still going to be conservative with Sarah's MP here because she doesn't have um, she doesn't have tons of it right now. Uh, but as you remember, uh, I sh I will use it all of it before the end of the com combat. Defense by two, that's quite useful this early in the game. Uh, attack is good of course, but you will kill the enemies. It's not a problem, really. But defense could be uh, could be a problem, a low defense. And Jaha is slow. doesn't kill it. Oh, killed it. You mother... Oh, alright. I like to keep my guys at even levels. Right now, Chester and Sarah is, are a bit ahead. But that's, a, that's okay. Uh, the others will catch up. Have something to do. And um, yeah, one thing about the agility thing is uh, it's not entirely linear like uh, someone who has, for instance, two points of agility higher than another w won't automatically move before that character in combat. Uh, so there's some sort of uh, die roll added to it to make to make for a bit of variation um, and uh, right in the early stages of, of the game when people have a, when, when the characters have a low agility um, it's uh, the var variation is quite high actually so it's quite inconsistent with uh, which character moves first and stuff this is kind of a risky spot I'm putting me putting in, but I think it's I think it's gonna make it actually. And now he's certainly gonna, gonna make it because Jaha is in the way. You can see he delivers quite a blow. And Chester um hmm. I guess kill this guy. Right now it's only Jaha who needs to gain to gain a level to get to level two. And Chester is already at level three. Um one thing that differs from uh, this game, if, if you play the first one but not this one, uh, the experience points carry over. So once you reach once you reach a hundred, the remain the remaining experience points uh, carry over to the to build up for the next level. So right now Chester has 17 left of that 49 again from killing that blob. Um, let's attack the bat. And you you can see I'm attacking from land effect 30% to get better defense actually. Three is not very impressive. Uh, 
Um, mm. Yeah. Ah, uh, I see. It's the best way of gaining experience points anyway. So. And I do have medical herbs if, yeah, if it should become a problem with MP and stuff. If we're in trouble. That's what I meant to say. And the rat the rats hit quite hard, as you can see. Who's your daddy? Um, we need to get this rat dead, I believe. And Jahar is a good way of doing it. Apparently not enough. Anyway, um, I think Chester can have a break actually for a while. And Sarah can use her last heal on Brailer. Yeah, so the uh, reason I'm taking a break with Chester is of course to let the other guys gain levels. <coughs> and now he gets attacked for it. And that can happen, you see, getting a second attack. I think this is the only game in the series where guys can get a second attack like that. Um, gonna attack the rat. Yeah, because in the first one it's just critical hits and stuff, and in uh, the third one it's just special attacks and stuff. Six is quite a lot actually, I would prefer him to have better defense than that, but oh well, we'll get there. And Jaha became level 2, last one to reach level 2. Well, he's the most recently added character. One thing which is quite good with this game compared to others in the series is that when you get new characters, they they often start out with um, well closer to the to the level level of the other people in your party, uh, provided you didn't super grind or stuff or anything. Uh, so they balance that quite well, actually. Use an herb on Brailer. <sighs> Not sure how she does it, just throws it or something. Anyway, anyway, let's get go for this rat because he's the douchiest one of the two. Huge rat, yeah. he is actually quite huge. I'd agree with that. Uh, uh, Alright. Three is still not a lot. And... Uh, could be bad. Yeah, I'll let you use her other herb on Brailler. Yeah, I'm going to sing a bit now and then when I don't have anything good to say. Hope it doesn't annoy you. So, Jaha is a sturdy fella. And since Chester is the only one at level 3, I'm not gonna let him attack. Um, hmm. How are you doing, guys? Fine, fine, fine. Yeah, I'm gonna attack. As priests should do, you know. Ouch. 
good. And that can happen too. Ow. And luckily she did. And she can counter as well. That's about the most stuff that can happen in a single combat scene. Uh, apart from someone getting a critical hit as well. Four. Yeah, it became level three. Attack one. He needs more attack. One thing you can do if you're like a cheater is uh, save the game before leveling each time. And uh, woo! defense by two. He is a sturdy four. Yeah, you can um, save the game before leveling and uh, then reset if you're not happy with the stats you gave. Uh, but that is not the way I like to play this game. I th think it's uh, cheating a bit. And that's not how you make games fun. Healing Seed! Giggity. Um, it's a more powerful medical herb. And um, yeah, it basically, he basically heals uh, about 20 HP instead of 10. And costs uh, 200 gold instead of 10. <laughs> uh, don't quite see the logic in that, but anyway, that's how it works. But, well, the logic is that by the time you need healing seeds, you have quite a lot more money. So, it shouldn't be free anyway. Howell. Yes, I know him. He's famous and he's kind of a screwball. He lives northwest of this village. You can't miss it. I hope not. And an old piano in the corner. I wonder if we will get to use that later in the game. What do you think? I will torment the shit out, out of your hen, boy. And that's a hen, and that's a rooster, so I guess this one's hit. his. Gallum soldiers, alright. How will, how will, how will, why is he so important? He's just an old man. Yeah, I agree. Actually. Uh, that's a cat. And there is the guy we need to talk to right now. He's not hell. Uh, but I'm going to end the episode here. And I'm going to go back and buy, some, buy a few herbs. And uh, we'll pick it up from there. So, cheerio. Thanks for watching.